I am Sarah Worry. I am a trainer on the Mathematics Growth Team for New South Wales Department of Education. I'm Thomas Pollard and I'm a trainer on the Mathematics Growth Team. My name is Coldip Kerr. I'm a member of the Mathematics Growth Team. My name is Jodie Hartman. I'm a trainer with the Mathematics Growth Team and I'm based at Barrel Central School. I'm Devana Knight and I am a trainer on the Mathematics Growth Team. And basically I've just thoroughly enjoyed the the change of, of, of pace, I suppose, and, and complexity around uh, my role it was working as a mathematics teacher in a school. Um, I've enjoyed being able to broaden, I guess, the, the group of teachers that I've worked with and also the group of students. Uh, a best way to describe my role is I teach students, but I also teach teachers at the same time as part of my role. At this school, what I'm doing is leading professional learning with a range of different teachers across K to 12 working um, around mathematics teaching and learning and different approaches. I am professionally the happiest I have ever, ever, ever been in this role. If you're thinking about applying to be on the growth team, I don't think the question would be why do you want to be on the growth team, I think it's well why wouldn't you? If you're a maths teacher that is at the point that they feel, one, they want something a bit different and that they would like to have a, a broader reach um, with their skill set and to potentially take on a different challenge. That's personally, I guess, why I was attracted to it. If you're passionate about mathematics and the teaching of it, this is a role for you. Not only do you teach students at the same time, but one of the best things is you get to teach teachers at the same time. For me it really was that balance of all the things that I love about teaching and it's about being in a classroom and being with students but also having the opportunity to lead staff and to push boundaries and to do that in a way that is supported with evidence and good practice. It's just such a beautiful combination and it's unique. You don't see that in any other job. In the last year and a half than I have, I think, in my entire career in terms of getting involved in mathematics education research. The amount of opportunity you have in terms of building your own teaching pedagogies and supporting others in their teaching pedagogies, there is literally nothing to lose. I guess I would say to anyone considering a role on the Maths Growth Team, the team itself is obviously fantastic, but the skills you personally learn and can share with others within the team, but then the school context in which we serve. When you teach teachers, uh, one thing I've always loved about my job is watching teachers grow. Uh, so from where they started to where they end up, and that's probably one of the most privileged journeys you can be on with someone, whether it only be for two weeks, whether it be for a year or two years, uh, it's one of the best things to have a spectator seat and watch and do. Sometimes you have to switch between being a mentor and a coach and that's okay as well if you're able to switch between the two. But having that impact on how someone does their practice, this is a role for you. I think I'd go back to thinking about why I wanted to be on the mathematics growth team. Looking at new strategies and pedagogy and, and other methodologies for being an even better math teacher than I already was is delightful and mind-blowing. That ability or the opportunity rather to work um, collectively with the Maths Growth team but then the communities in which the team serve, there's just such a breadth of knowledge and, and resources and so forth that can be developed and uh, for, for an individual considering it, the professional learning that you gain is unparalleled, um, the experience, and yeah, it's a challenge, but the challenge is, is highly worthwhile. Well, one good thing about the team is we're all like-minded, uh, as in we're all passionate about what we do. You need to push those boundaries. You're going to be in a position where you're going to be pushing your staff to push their boundaries. So it kind of starts now. So you need to fill in the application. You need to step outside your comfort zone just that little bit because that, that sort of nervous feeling that you're getting, it kind of means that you're starting to look at that and you're on the right track because to be part of this team, it's special and you won't get that opportunity anywhere else.